Like, sir, I do not need you. You're blocked. Please lose my number. I'm not losing sleep over you. Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janae Ave. If you're not new, welcome back. Now in this video, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I know as my channel continues to grow, there will be new girlies who really don't know who I am. And even the girlies who have been following me and rocking with me for quite some time. I've never posted a video like this on my channel before, but y'all about to get to know me a little bit better real soon. So I wanted to go ahead and do a get to know me style video while I'm doing my makeup. I'm actually about to fix myself up before I go on my interview right now. So you guys, or girlies rather, wish me luck. I really want this position and I've been working my butt off. So I'm just like, God, please answer my prayers when it comes to this job. So I'm not gonna reveal it yet. I wanna actually like train for it and get the job before I actually put it out there, but just know I'm doing my interview process. So definitely excited about that and wanted to share. So right now I'm actually going to start, let me get the questions really quick just so I can have them. So there's gonna be 12 questions and I'm just gonna go through them while I'm doing my makeup now. Please be patient with me and bear with me because I'm not the best at doing my makeup and then also multitasking, answering questions. Some will be more in depth. So just keep that in mind, but let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna put you right over here. Uh-oh, stuff is already dropping. So I've, I've already washed my face at this point. I'm actually going to go ahead and do my little swoop my little baby hairs <laughs> right now before I actually do my makeup but I think the first thing that we're gonna get started with is my name so Janae is my name now the way that it's spelled is a little bit different and how I got my name is my mother Janae is her her middle name so my mom named me after her middle name and it's spelled J-E-N-E, -E, which is crazy <laughs> because most people who actually see that, they call me Jean or Jeannie. And I just let them, like it doesn't bother me at this point. Like, I'm not gonna correct you. You know, it looks like Jean, I get it. But when they start asking me, oh, how do you pronounce your name? Then that's when I tell them, Janae. So that is my name. I'm not gonna get my full government name now. Janae Ave is, is good enough. <laughs> so let me just do this, the baby hairs. Let me make sure I'm getting it right. Now, sorry, I will be looking into this big mirror. So this one right here. And I will be looking to the side where the camera is. So, okay, first question or kind of like an intro was my name and then let me see. Oh, by the way, I need to I need to actually tell you all the products that I'm using while I'm doing my my baby hairs and my makeup. So I'm actually using the pattern edge control right here. I think it's by Tracy Ellis Ross. It's her line and I actually really like it. The only thing and I feel like it's with every edge control is there is going to be a little bit of residue. But I feel like that's with all of them. Hers doesn't give that much residue, but I'm trying to do these a little bit better. Like a, a little bit more of a, a swoop. But hers doesn't give all that white residue. Y'all, this doesn't look, you know what? Listen, that's gonna have to do for now. We're just trying to get this presentable, you know, so I don't look too, too crazy. But let me go ahead and focus on this real quick. See, I'm already struggling with doing the questions and trying to focus on this. But one second, because this is my Giorgi Armani foundation. It's a liquid foundation. 7.5 is the name. Or I guess the color it's considered. 7.5. So I'm going to go in with this real quick. So the first 
question is, what is my favorite color? My favorite color is green. Love green. I love all shades of green. Preference is like a darker green, so like an emerald green, but I also love a jade green, an olive green. But the two primary colors that I really love, the shades, or the primary shades of green are gonna be like your emerald, that dark, deep, rich green, and then the jade green, that really pretty jade green. I love green, so that is my favorite color. Now, by the way, if I'm doing my makeup and y'all notice, hey sis, you can improve like your technique, you know, as far as putting your foundation on, please feel free to tell me in the comments because y'all, I'm still learning. And one thing about learning is, you know, people give you, can give you helpful tips and tricks. So I will definitely listen to any feedback when it comes to doing my makeup. So definitely leave it in the comments if you feel that I can improve and hey, watch this YouTuber. She, you know, basically explains it step by step. I will definitely watch. When is your birthday? So my birthday is June 26. I am 27 and I'm a cancer, big cancer energy. I'm a June cancer. People like to put emphasis on June and July cancers. Baby, we came first. God took his time with us, the June ones. It just saying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yes, June 26. Now, y'all, I'm a Cancer, but I have a moon in a Scorpio. So don't play with me. Like, I don't play no games. <laughs> I don't play no games. But yep, my birthday is June 26. So shout out to all the Cancers out there, whether it's june or july i don't care shout out to you water sign sis um let me see what the next question is let me keep my phone on what is your favorite holiday um favorite that's a a good question because growing up um I didn't celebrate holidays like the yeah I didn't celebrate holidays so no Christmas no no Halloween I still don't celebrate Halloween I don't understand that holiday but I would say now it would have to be I guess Christmas but again like I'm not actually celebrating Christmas itself because of the pagan origins with it. So I do like to decorate. And again, I've showed you, you know, the decorations that I have, but as far as, you know, believing in Christmas and Santa, that's not something I, I believe in. Um, you know, you won't see in my house ever a Santa Claus. Like I won't purchase a Santa Claus. Um, just personal, you know, I don't, I just don't believe in it. And even though it's just a holiday, you know, it's just about, you know, being festive and all of that. Uh -uh, Santa's not welcomed in my house. Bye bye. You're not welcome, sir. <laughs> so I would say definitely Christmas, I guess, is my favorite holiday. And I think because the reason it's my favorite holiday is because of the pretty lights. I think Christmas is a very pretty holiday. It, oh, it's sparkly. It's extra, and I'm all about extra. Extra, extra, read all about it. So I'm just gonna do a light makeup, by the way. I'm trying to like hurry so that I can do this interview and not miss the deadline. So let's see what the next question is. Um, let me put my eyeliner on. What? What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Ooh, that's a really good question. I would say the best piece of advice that I've been given was by my grandmother when she said, you can do bad all by, all by yourself. And I guess how I interpret that is if like, if you're causing me problems, whether in a relationship, a friendship, like I don't need you. I don't I don't need that in my life. Like I, I can do me like all by myself. I don't 
I don't need that <laughs> in my life. And at the end of the day, like I'm gonna go do what I need to do. I don't need you. That's how I took it. Like you can do that all by yourself, especially like when it came to advice when my grandma would give me about like guys, like dealing with the, with the crap that some men put women through, like, bro, I don't need you. I don't. So at the end of the day, I can leave. And it, it, it I mean, it would affect me emotionally, emotionally a little bit, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna be good. Cause I'm, I'm gonna get it and do it myself. Like, I, I don't need you causing stress in my life. Like, forget you. <laughs> so yeah, just that saying, I would say has really helped me because at the end of the day you know there's been situations that I've been in as a woman and dealing with you know guys who would like dog me out or you know be disrespectful and belittle me like sir I do not need you you're blocked please lose my number I'm not losing sleep over you at the end of the day I'm just I'm just not so I think that's the best advice that I stick by 100% is I can do bad all by myself and so can you girlies and let's see what are some of your favorite youtubers Brits Ooh, this is not straight definitely my first favorite would be Chelsea Janae oh my gosh I love that girl's channel like this. I love her confidence. I love how she keeps it real on her channel. Like it's it's just like having a best friend, but virtually on camera. So that's what I love about her her channel. And also the consistency. I feel she's relatable, and I think that's super important when you're watching like the YouTube girlies. You know, some are relatable and then some you know some aren't and yeah i think it just gives like a whole new new kind of feel to like youtube because i started watching her i actually recently i recently subscribed to her maybe like a month a month or two ago and i've been binge watching her videos even when she first started and she started doing her blogging and seeing her develop and to who she is now has been awesome watching. So she's definitely one of my favorites. And then I'm trying to think, there's also some other, there's this one YouTuber, I love her vibe. Um, she posts, she's not as consistent when she posts, but when she does, um, I love her the videos and I think she should post more because girl I'd be waiting like the the notifications are definitely on and I'm like when is she gonna post another video but her name or her channel is Jaylene Sanchez I think that's her her channel name um and I like she's one of my favorites too even though you know um she doesn't have like a huge following on YouTube. I think that she definitely will. Once she's consistent, sis, it's gonna blow up. But I do love her vlogs. I think she is hilarious and it's giving real. Her channel gives real, I don't know. But I like, I really like her vlogs too when she does post. And I'm trying to think, are there any others that are my favorite? favorites y'all favorites a strong word i'm gonna stick with those two no 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 there's another one there's another one Aaliyah's face there we go that girl's bomb like Aaliyah's face i love her vlogs she's to me very top tier um her videos are very elevated and i also like her journey as well so those three chelsea janae Aaliyah's face and then Jaylene Sanchez. I hope I am saying that correctly, all the names, <laughs> but definitely my top three. My top three. So I'm gonna let this dry and I, I don't know what type of eyeliner this is. It's some brand from Target, nothing special. So I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, but let's get into the next question. So 
what are some of your favorite TV shows? So I currently have two. So one of them is Goosebumps. Have you guys seen the new season of Goosebumps? I think it's season one of the series, the TV show. When I tell you it keeps me into the show, like I am focused, like, oh, what's happening next? I'm on edge, like, oh my God, did that really just happen? You know what, let me rewind it just to make sure it happened. It's definitely Goosebumps. <laughs> so I would recommend if you haven't already, start watching that show. I think it's really good. It was perfect for fall Halloween vibes, but I think it's still on, I believe, like new episodes are coming out, but maybe the season ended, I don't know. I'll have to check because it's been like a week or two since I've watched it. But another one of my favorite shows is on Apple TV and it's called, let me see, I think it's called Chemistry. The so Lessons in Chemistry and it's basically based in, I think, I don't know if it was the 1950s or 60s, but a lot of women did not have like, they couldn't say a lot. They didn't have a lot of power. Um, women weren't dominating certain fields and industries and this lady who is a real chemist um basically kills it and doesn't take these guys bs because she doesn't fit in or she's not a guy or whatever but i absolutely love it because she turns her chemistry into like like a cooking show and all that and it just shows the struggle that she had to face but let me tell you she doesn't take no bs from nobody especially these men she's not afraid to you know, think differently and to state her opinion, which I absolutely love because back in those days, women were not respected. I don't care what you say. Even if they were more qualified than men, they weren't respected, which is so sad. It is so sad. So that's definitely those two lessons in chemistry, which is on Apple TV and Goosebumps are my two favorite shows currently. I actually need to get my eyelashes. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to try these eyelashes for the first time. Okay, so I'm gonna try these for the first time and see how I like them. I'm gonna just shape them and cut them to the length of my eye, or length of my eye. But let me go to the next question here. So, Samsung or Mac? I kind of gave you a hint when I said Apple TV, all Apple. I don't mess with Samsung. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I prefer Mac. I have Mac everything, iPhone, iMac, iPad, MacBook Pro, Apple Watch, Apple TV, pretty much everything is Apple. If they had an Apple camera, like an actual, camera camera like how Canon has cameras I would probably go with Apple I'm just an Apple fan I think it's easier it's convenient I remember in high school um, all the like rich people would have iPhones and I remember when my mom got me an iPhone and I was so no not my mom I think it was my dad my dad who got me an iPhone for the first time and I was so excited like or maybe they both did I don't know anywho my parents got me an iPhone and I was so happy about it like you have no idea I felt like hey I can fit in like I'm a bougie kid now it's silly the things that we think when we're younger, right? <laughs> but yeah, definitely an Apple fan. Again, I think it's more of convenience and I like the way that it runs. Also the security, like I just noticed with Apple, I don't really get, like you know how you can get hacked? I used to have like computers like Dell and stuff like that and they would get hacked and I'm just like, seriously dude, come on. Like this is so bootleg. But with Apple, I think their security, it's a bit more secure on their computers. And that's what I like. And also again, it's convenient. So since all of my devices are with Apple, I can get all my text messages on whatever device that I'm on currently, if I have it set up that way, like my notifications. So definitely, Mac. Next question. Next question. Do you have 
any children. Do I have any children? No, I don't. Um, so yeah, do you have any children? Do you want any children? I do not have any children. And at this point in my life, I don't want children. Um, being a mother is not a desire that I have. I don't want to have kids. And it's funny because like, literally when I tell people that, right? They're like, oh, you're still young. You, you, you just have to meet the right person. No, I don't. I just told you I didn't want kids. And then it's like the follow-up questions when I tell people I don't want children, it's like, oh, something. Like I low-key feel like they're judging me like, oh, something wrong with her? Like why she doesn't want kids? Y'all, there are people in this world whose goal is not to just re, like not to reproduce. No shade or anything towards the parents out there. That's That's great if you want kids. There are people out there, like to be completely honest, and I don't mean to sound harsh when I say this, but there are people out there who have had kids and you can tell they didn't want them by the way that they're treating them. They mistreat their kids, whether that's, usually it's emotionally. Emotionally, they mistreat their kids. And it's like, if you were honest and said you didn't want kids, you probably wouldn't be in that situation, like being honest. And then, you know, when people are like, oh, you know, you just haven't met the right one. That may be true. I haven't met the right one, that's fine. But still, like when I do meet the right one, I want it to be me and him. I don't want kids. And you know, there's nothing wrong with me not wanting kids. I know what I want, but I do like babies. Babies are very cute, but after they reach two, one and a half actually <laughs> bye you know you're okay. so sorry my camera died actually so as i was saying yeah i don't like i don't have a desire to be anyone's mother and i think that's okay you know i think it's okay and the best thing that i can be is honest instead of having kids and then when they get here you know, I don't show them affection that they that they need because I really don't, I don't want the kids. So, no children, and I do not foresee them in the future um, at this point. Are you single? Yes, I am single. And I do get this question quite often, to be honest. Like, why are you single? How do you answer that? How do you? I'm gonna look in the cam in the mirror really quick to put on my lashes and then I'll answer more in depth this question. No. No. I'm gonna see if I can return those. I'm not I'm not wearing those. That's a bit much for the for the interview. So I think what I will do. Do I have mascara? I don't. That's okay. I'll just wear eyeliner for now. Because those eyelashes do not look professional. So we're gonna cut that. We're not gonna wear those. Okay, so yes, I am single. I've been single for quite some time. I mean, I've been on dates and, you know, have tried to like work things out, but they didn't work out for a reason. So I've been single, I feel like for years. Like I haven't, I've, I haven't, I haven't been in a relationship since, I was 20 and I'm 27 and the reason why to be honest is 
dating is like really ghetto right now just being honest it's 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 no there's nothing really out there i mean maybe there is i'm not gonna be negative um there is there are good men out there of course there there are some there are there are some good men out there but there are a lot that are just like wow who raised you like who who what happened what happened like what happened to you what's wrong with you you need therapy i think a lot of men should go to therapy um yeah but yes i'm single and it's because you know i'm not gonna settle you know just because i am getting older i'm not gonna be like oh i have you know to get married at 30 i need to you know do this by this age no sis i'm not settling especially not with a man i i'm not settling with a man because at the end of the day if i settle with a man that i'm not happy with that man is going to age me okay he's gonna stress me out and I don't want to be stressed. Again, I can do bad all by myself. So if single being single makes me happy for however long that I'm single, then I'm gonna stay single. But I'm, I've been having fun, you know? Like, I do like being single and it's because I don't really have to worry about the other person. Like, are they happy? You know, am I doing everything that I can? And even then, if you do everything that you can for the other person, you know, it still might not be enough for that person. They may still like go out and do you wrong. And it's just, I, I rather not have that worry and just have peace in my life. So, you know, when I'm single, I can, can kind of like move the way I wanna move, do what I want when I want. Um, I don't really have to worry about, you know, compromising because of the other person and stuff like that. And one of the things like when I would date, I'm not dating currently because I'm focusing more on me and the woman I'm wanting to become. But when I was, one of the major issues or challenges that I faced was a lot of these guys want kids. And so when I would go on dates and, you know, they're like, oh, I don't have kids, but I want four or five. Mm. one is too much for me you're talking about five kids oh i'm not the one for you and i'll let them know like i don't want to waste your time i'm not having children i'm not having your children and i'm you know i i hope you find a woman who will have them and yeah it's not me <laughs> it's 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 not me i'm so sorry it's not me. So let's see what the next question is. Have you ever been flown out or flown out? Flown? Is it flown or flew, flew out? Have you ever been flew out? No. I buy my own plane tickets. I don't have nobody. Ain't no man flying me out. If you want to see me that bad, you will fly out to where I am. What do I look like flying to you? You can fly to me and then you can get you a hotel and then we can, you know, plan our dates accordingly. But no, I'm not flying out to you. Because who else are you flying out? I'm sure I'm not the first and I won't be the last. So you can fly to me. Um, podcasts or music while you're driving? That's a good one. That's actually a really good question. I would say both. I would say both um it really depends on kind of what where i'm at with my mood and how i'm feeling but there are times where i'm just like i want to listen to my r&b and then there's times especially in the mornings in the mornings i will listen to my podcast when i start my day i like to listen to my um, podcast it's just very encouraging the podcast that I listen to motivational podcast is really what gets me going in the morning so I definitely 
will say podcast in the morning over listening to music by far that's how i start my mornings um whether it's like a spiritual podcast or motivational definitely but after work i'm listening to my music okay i'm listening to my music and then let me do my lip and then i think i i'm sorry i'm all over the place but i think that's gonna be it for me because i don't want to look like i'm going to the club i'm just doing an interview so i don't want it to be like too crazy too crazy looking more natural than anything i just wish i had some mascara but that's okay those lashes did not work let's comb these out my lashes i'm sorry my eyebrows and then do what we need to do do what we need to do last question are you an extrovert or introvert let me put the camera down a little bit what do you guys think i am just as you've seen me so far if you've watched this video thus far what are you thinking you think i'm an extrovert or an introvert Okay, now that I've given you time to guess, I am an introvert, definitely. I do not like being bothered by people. I am an introvert like to the fullest. I am a person who gets very overwhelmed and overstimulated by constant talking. Even if I know the person, like family, friends, if you're talking too much, it's really hard for me. It's, it's hard. Like I will try to talk and do whatever, but it's hard. I am constantly needing to recharge myself and kind of, you know, have time to myself in order to be present. So when it comes to gatherings, I, you know, I don't like small talk. So if I don't know you, like I'll say hi, but then I'll keep it moving. Like I'll be real cute. Hi, okay, nice to meet you. And then I'm keeping it moving. Like I'm not gonna really stay and, you know, do the most with you and be like, oh my gosh, you know, maybe if I had a drink in my system, then yes, I'm an extrovert. But my normal day-to-day -day life, I'm definitely an introvert. And what kills me is small talk. Small talk is the worst ever. I don't know you. And we don't need to be doing this back and forth. You know, we we don't know each other and that's okay. That's, that, that's okay, we don't need to small talk. They do that a lot at my job and it kills me. I'm like, oh my God. When they say good morning to everyone, how have you been, how's your day going so far? Uh, it just started, it, it, it just started. So I, I guess it's going fine. <laughs> have a nice day um and then it's awkward for me because it's like you can tell i'm drained i'm just like i zone out and i'm just like <sighs> i just sigh like wow why why are you talking to me i just prefer i prefer solitude i prefer to be alone in my own presence i am comfortable with myself i you know I'm comfortable being just on camera with no one in here. I don't need to talk to people out in the open. I can talk to a screen and be okay. So this works for me as an introvert. But yeah, definitely, I think the biggest thing for me is, you know, with being an introvert, people take it the wrong way. Um, they take, sometimes they can take it personal has nothing to do with you as a person. Um, it's definitely me, I will admit that. But there are some people like you have to understand, not everyone's gonna be, you know, all up in your face and wanting to talk and get to know you and that's okay. That doesn't mean that the person is rude, but there are some people like me who get overstimulated and get exhausted super easy by having or carrying on long conversations. And not everyone wants to do that. You know, some of us like to get straight to the point when it comes to certain things. And then, you know, with other things or other people, I might be more talkative, but if I don't know you, I don't, I don't need to give you my life story. 
and you 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 know some people think oh like she's weird because she doesn't talk sis i don't know you i don't like you want me to give you a full story like that's odd to me like what which like people think oh she's quiet she's scheming who are you you're like who are you for me to scheme i don't understand that logic like who are you though i'm just observing because either I mess with you or, or like I don't, you know, so some people when they have like these opinions because, oh, she doesn't talk or, you know, something's wrong. No, sis, you talk too much. You should probably not talk so much because based off what you're saying and I haven't said a word, but hi, I know everything about you and I know I'm not rocking with you. You talk too much. So you probably sharing everybody's business because you're definitely sharing yours. So <laughs> I think, you know, there's just. It's, it's interesting when it comes to us introverts, but for the girlies who understand and who are also introverts, that's why me being an introvert, I don't know why I work at a call center and in customer service. Lord knows these, pe these people exhaust me every day when they ask, oh, how's your day going? How's the weather? You know, oh, I hear in Texas, oh, like I'm trying to be nice, but Sir, ma'am, you are really, you have officially drained me within the first five minutes just by asking all these additional questions that have nothing to do with insurance. So I think that's hard for introverts is talking on the phone and being in a customer service when you have to deal with people constantly talking and they don't stop. And it's like, I don't need all the extra information. Just give me, you know, what I need. But that is going to be the last question and I'm going to wrap up this video. Now here's how I'm looking. I need to put on some earrings, but it's nothing crazy when it comes to my makeup. Again, oh crap. I'm going on an interview. So I'm not gonna, I don't wanna look like I'm going to the club and I feel like those eyelashes just look crazy. Like I wouldn't even wear those. So I'm definitely gonna try to return them if I can, but this is it. You just put on some eyeliner, nothing crazy. I do wanna improve with my makeup, but y'all, I'm a natural girly. I don't really, unless I'm going out for dinner, I'm not wearing makeup, but I definitely want to improve so it looks like flawless okay but i hope you all enjoyed this video especially to my girlies who don't really really know me i probably should have did a voiceover but i really try to like multitask and talk at the same time as doing my makeup so y'all bear with me we will get better okay i will improve this is my first time but i hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, yeah i will see you all in I would say, when am I gonna see you all again? I think I will see you all in my next week's vlogs. Um, it'll probably be posted on Sunday. And then after that, I will not see you until December 1st, the first day of Vlogmas. But thanks for tuning in, bye.